all around the world, bookshops are closing. Um, they, you know, they seem like an endangered species. Do you think we'll see the end of the bookshop? The cemetery of forgotten bookshops? I don't think we'll see the end of bookshops. What I think is, unfortunately, many of the bookstores that exist today will cease to exist. Others, different bookstores will appear. And, 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 and things will, will change, as they have always. I think we, we always tend to think about our lifetimes or our memory as the standard, as the end of history, that this is it. That it doesn't get any better or any different. It does. We are just passing through. And, and everything, the, the ideas we have about modern publishing and book selling are relatively recent. In the 19th century, books were not sold or published or market or distribute it in the way they are today. If we go today to, to a bookstore here in Melbourne and Collins, we can find books from the 19th century. We'll find Dickens and we'll find Wilkie Collins and, and Tolstoy and, and, and Zola and Balzac. But these books were created and, 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 and published in, in a different environment. And it, what we think of today as, as, as our bookstores or the way we find books, we learn about them, uh, is a relatively recent thing. It's changing. It's a model that is changing. It's a cultural model and as a business model, it's changing. So we're going to see changes. Will books survive? Will bookstores survive? Will the written world survive? Well, that's up to us. Will our minds survive? Will we remain thinking? beings or, or, or not, I don't know, I hope so. And I hope that in some way or another, in some shape, uh, the concept of beauty, of knowledge survives. Because I think that's what life is all about. You know, I think that there are many things in this world, there are many things in, in, in life. Uh, and there's a lot of crap. But I think there are two redeeming values in life and in the world. One is beauty and the other one is knowledge. And this is what we find in books and in bookstores, because that's a place you meet books. So hopefully they will transform themselves, and hopefully there will be people that are still interested in thinking, that have intellectual curiosity, that have an appreciation for, for words, for language, for imagination. And, and I'm sure there will be. So somehow I think they will survive.